So in this tutorial, what we're going to look at is how to make a random slide appear in PowerPoint. Oftentimes you want to be able to just click a button and a random slide appear. It could be uh, a great job slide or a try again slide, but you want it to be so it's random and we don't know what's going to happen or what slide's going to appear. So the first thing we do is we're going to create a shape on our slide where we want the button to be where we can make this random slide appear. And each of these little mini shapes here that you can see here, I'm going to actually take this shape and it needs to have many parts to it. And in this case, I'm using a triangle. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take this triangle and I've made several of them here. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six triangles all together here. And basically, I've put them together so that they make um, a kind of a hex hexagon type of shape when they're all put together. But basically, what I'm going to do is click on each one of these triangles and I'm going to hyperlink it to a different slide. So for this example, I'm going to right click and choose hyperlink. Now what that brings up is the existing file link or a place in this document. I want place in this document. Now what we've got here is I've got four slides in my presentation. The slide one has a frowny face on it and slide two has a frowny face on it and slide three has a happy face on it. Now what I'm going to do is link this particular one to the smiley face and click OK. You'll notice that I have six triangles here like I said and basically what you could do is you could weight it so that only smiley faces come up um, one out of six times or two out of six times you can weight this however you want to and you could even have only two slides if that's what you really had and in this case I'm giving that three just to show you how you can do this but in this case I really only would need um, two slides because all I got is a smiley face and a frowny face but here is again I'm going to open the hyperlink and in this case, let me try that again. in this case, when I open the hyperlink and just edit it, you can see now this triangle is going to slide one, which is the frowny face. You set up so that each of your individual parts, individual um, shapes, have a hyperlink on them, and then I'm just going to piece this back together so that it makes one solid actual shape kind of like a hexagon again you can do this with a big circle and cut it into pieces you can do it with a square and cut it into pieces it's totally up to you how you want to make this and how many parts you want to have the more parts you have obviously the more randomness you can make into this but that's basically what we need to do we have to take a small shape put it together so that one shape now has lots of different pieces inside of it the next thing we're going to do, now I have uh, each of these six linked to one of my slides and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to group this all together so that I highlight the whole thing and then right click. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose to group these. So now I've made all six of these triangles just one shape. After doing that, now what I'm actually going to do is add a custom animation to it. So in uh, my animations tab, I've chose custom animation, and this is PowerPoint version 2007, but it works very similarly in the other versions. I'm going to click add effect over here at the right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and choose a emphasis. And what I want to do is I want this to spin. So I'm going to click spin and I'm going to click OK and what I've got is I've got 360 degrees clockwise and medium but I need this to start automatically so what I'm going to do is just choose after previous there because when I get to this slide I want that thing to be spinning and I want it to be spinning. You can set the speed a little higher if you um, want to but basically medium will give you what you need here and we're just going to let that thing spin just like that. Now we're going to set this up so that this spins continually when it's on this slide and not just once or twice. I'm going to click on the properties for this group 9 that we just made here under the custom animation and I'm going to choose timing and what we want to do is where it says repeat I'm going to choose until end of slide so this shape this hexagon should spin continually until the end of this slide and if we see the example there that's basically what it's going to do. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this kind of a two-piece process. First I'll show you how this is actually going to work. So when I run the PowerPoint show, and here we are running it, I'm going to click any one of these, and when I click them you can see we go to these particular slide that it was on. And every time I click one it's going to go to a different random apparently slide. So it's working fine, we've got it working. Now what I'm going to do is actually do a couple things to this. I'm going to format the shape and I'm going to make this so that it is transparent. So here where it says no fill, I'm going to choose solid fill and I'm going to crank up the transparency to 99% solid fill 99% transparency and when we come back you'll see here now that that shape is actually gone it's there still but we can't see it anymore and the last step that I'm going to do is basically just insert a shape over that just a box so that we know where we need to click and we'll tell our people our users that they need to click inside this box and I will format that shape and it doesn't really need a fill color it just needs a good line color for the outside of it so now when we come back this is what we've got here and what I'm going to do is send this to the background so that it will not interfere with our actual shape that's spinning in there. And just to make sure we are right here, it looks like we've got it. What I'm going to do now is simply run the PowerPoint show. And what we would say is we would have a little box here that says click in the red box to make a random slide appear. So I can click this here and now you can kind of see I've left it just enough transparent where you can see it in there and there's our slide when we go back and try it again we will click it and there's another slide appearing when you're actually doing the real uh, when you're actually creating one of these you want to make sure that your background color is like white or something that blends in really well so that you can't see that object spinning back there and you can crank it up to 100% transparency also which will make that pretty blank. Now what can you do with this? For one example here is one of the games I created was called Simple Bowling and in Simple Bowling you basically just click the ball here and it pretends to roll the ball down and when you roll that ball it will either hit any one of these where it knocks down three pins, five pins, eight pins, or a strike and you get ten pins. So just to show you how that works I'm going to run this PowerPoint here. And you can see behind here you can't see it but right in there is where that uh, hexagon is spinning and when I click one of them it randomly goes to there you go I actually got ten down that time. So I can come back in here and now we can try it again and every time I click it it's going to go to somewhere different because it's basically going to do that random spin there. First time of course it didn't go to somewhere different it's going to the same one. That, but you get the idea basically that's what you're doing you're never sure where it's going to go because it depends on where you click as to where it's going to go and where it's spinning at the time. So you can see we get our random slide every time we click on it. And that's basically how you can create a random slide with your PowerPoint.